hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i wanted to do a couple things i wanted to share some new spring summer items a lot of them are linen and i love linen this time of year this portion of the video is sponsored by quince you guys love when i did my quince little haul a while ago so i'm back for more their stuff is so good the quality is great the prices are great they do sell out really fast though so when i show you these items definitely click the link below because they're already limited inventory there are already a bunch of stuff that i wanted to get from there that were all just all gone so let's get to it all right so first item so this top i had to get it in yellow let me show you up close it is a linen top right here there's so many different color variants of it but this was just like it made me really happy and then these pants so these are some drawstring linen pants they're like a black and white stripe obviously i feel like you could use any black top with the pants this in black would be really cute with these if you're going on vacation these would be like just the perfect products I also really love the length. They're not too long. Here's what the back looks like. It's also just very, very comfy. The construction of the waistband and everything, and then just the fact that you can tie them to be as tight or as loose as you want. Very cute. All right, next is a dress. This is the same print as the pants that I was just wearing. I don't know what you call this type of style, but I've always loved it. So this is just a really easy linen dress. You can just slip it on. If you don't know what to wear, you, have, you feel like you have nothing to wear, this is just so easy. It has pockets, which every woman loves. And so for me, what I love to do with dresses like this um, to just kind of like dress it up a little bit is just to add a belt. Obviously, as is, works totally fine, but, you know, I always love to style something up a little bit. You can just do that. It's just something like that, you know? I don't know. I just think it's so cute. And then these sunglasses. I had to get these sunglasses. I love the color. I think they look really nice with the outfit. They're like a turtle shell, but not like a brown, more like a black and cream turtle shell. This bag is also from Quince. I got it a while ago um, during my first haul and I really love the weaving. I don't know if it's still available, but definitely check out their accessories section. All right, this next dress, I am very excited to show you guys. So it's just a really simple white tank dress, but there's just something so clean and sleek and chic to it. Love that it has pockets. I love that it just kind of is tight on the top and then accentuates your waist right here. And then it's just like a slight puffiness, but not too like frilly or puffed out, just like the perfect amount. So you can walk, you can have a nice shape. And again, this one comes in so many different colors. I would jump on this one because it's gonna sell out. It is already selling out. And again, I know I'm wearing heels with it, but you can wear anything. You can wear sneakers, flat sandals, just top it off with like a hat or some sunglasses. Very cute. All right, next up. So this dress is in the same construction as the like short sleeve black and white one that I just showed you guys, except this one is sleeveless. So if you live where it gets really, really hot, this is perfect. And when I tell you like, again, the quality of these, it's like really well made um, and really well priced. You can see how nice it is, how nice it looks. Like I said, the construction of it and it feels, it's just, it's like a hefty, nice linen. So I think it's really cute like this. You could also drape like a cardigan over your shoulders. But I also love this dress to wear with like sneakers or like a flat sandal. And again, I'm gonna belt it to show you. All right, so. I just found this little thin white belt in my closet and I just belted it and I added my accessories and then this, these sunglasses and I feel like it's very Hampton style. I'm ready, I'm comfortable for lunch, for shopping and it looks so chic. All right, next up, I think I'll always and forever love the color brown, but if you saw my first Quince video, then you know I got a V-neck like satin slip dress similar to this. Now I love that dress, but when I saw this, I had to get it because I'm always and forever gonna be a crew neck girl. It's just polished, it's clean, it's sleek, 
always and forever. I'll always love a crew neck. So I love the shape of this dress. I love everything about it. I love the length. I love the color. I love the cut. I got an extra small and everything across the board, by the way, easy, easy. So stick to your true size, I guess. And then I felt like the glasses matched this whole look or the dress perfectly. And then it's just like such a classy, elegant dress for, for any time, honestly. Like I would just wear this now going out, running errands. I would wear it to a nice brunch or lunch. And then you can also easily like dress it up for the nighttime. And how I would is I would take like a gold chain belt and just kind of like loosely drape it. Not even like how I was doing earlier, but just like loosely have it sit on your hip. And that would be so cute with some heels and some like gold earrings and maybe a couple bangles. So cute. Definitely highly recommend this dress as well. All right, so if you go on Quince's website, you'll see they have obviously their linen shop. Then they have their like satin shop. They also have a cashmere shop, which you're not gonna pay an arm and a leg for, but it's still gonna be as soft as ever. So I had to try this cashmere top. So again, what's great about them is they have so many different colors. I had a hard time choosing between this color and the off-white, um, but I ended up going with this color because I really wanted to try these white linen pants. So the nice thing about these pants is that they are like a crop style. So they hit me um, right at my ankle. They are not drawstring, but they are like an elastic waistband and they did add some belt loops if you wanted to add maybe like a skinny belt or something. I just thought this was like a chic and effortless look for the weekend or something or just to, you know, lounge around in, work from home or run errands in. And I feel like white linen pants is such a necessity for spring and summer. If you don't have one yet, you need to like get one because the ones from Quince are really good too. This is what the back of the pants look like. There's just like one pocket. And I feel like a lot of people are scared of white pants in general, but don't be scared. I just feel like nobody cares. And I feel like it's just such a clean, fresh look. And I feel like if you don't have white pants and you want to try some, I feel like these are a perfect starter. And then I just paired it with a clutch. So cute and easy. Um, this one again is also from Quince, but I don't know if it's still available. I'm just kind of sharing how to style, but definitely check out their bag selection. And that is pretty much it for this part of the video with Quince. As I mentioned, a lot of their stuff sells really, really fast, especially the linen stuff, I feel like. So check the links down in the description box below. Shop everything there all the info is there as well as like the sizing i just got an extra small everything and happy shopping and thank you to quince for sponsoring this portion of the video all right so on top of the quince portion of the video i've been for the longest time wanting to talk about or like at least do a favorites video because there are so many like body things that i have been loving from like body lotions to perfumes to even body wash so i'm gonna go in my what is it my shower <laughs> so i can talk to you guys so i think i'm pretty sure i shared um that i love the body wash from salt and stone and i've gone through so many bottles i have two pending in my other closet waiting to be used but I got this Frenchy one in the mail. I think this is Ashley Tisdale's, what's it called? My hair is in the way. But it's Ashley Tisdale's like body care line. And I would never buy this if I saw it at Target because I think that's where they sell it. But they sent me their very first line and I actually did like the scents. I even liked, I liked the room spray the most. This is the first time I actually burned one of her candles. It's the Palo Santo scent that they, or line of scents that they sent me. So they sent me like a candle and a bunch of stuff. So I burned the candle in my house and the candle made the house smell amazing. And it's also just Palo Santo's like for clarity and like grounding and things like that. So I loved that. And I also just really love the body wash. To be honest, I've been using it a lot lately. So I do think that she is, you know, 
one of those celebrities. I know people are kind of sick of like celebrity brands, but I actually like the line. And then I love a body oil for the shower because I shower a lot. So you can imagine maybe I'm drying out my skin, but I got this Lux unfiltered body oil sent to me. It's called the Opulent Shower Oil. And I like that it just kind of makes my skin feel more like supple because it's an oil. Um, so that's what I pretty much use in the morning when I take a body shower. And I've been loving it. The smell is, is really, really good. So that's that. I have a lot of uh, beauty things that I wanted to share. Oh, so body lotion, you can see this is all gone. This is the second tub of this, so La Roche-Posay. This is the Lipicar Eczema Soothing Relief. It is just such a good thick body cream, but like you're gonna feel moisturized throughout the day and you're gonna definitely see a difference in your, or feel a difference in your skin but you're not going to feel too overly moisturized to where when you put on your clothes, it's gonna be like too sticky and annoying that your clothes just are sticking, you know what I mean? It's not gonna be that kind. I really just like La Roche-Posay products in general. It's like a European skincare drugstore line that I feel like everyone just kind of loves and it and I can attest like it's really really good next up hourglass so this is nothing new and I feel like we've seen this so many times I've probably talked about this so many times this is an empty of mine this is in the color haze it's kind of like a ready brown but if you're like my skin tone and you want like a fresh look especially when you're doing like no makeup at all or a no makeup makeup look i've been really loving haze it's not a plumping gloss or anything it's more like a balm it's just a normal balm it's not gonna plump or anything but a couple plumping glosses that i absolutely absolutely love there's three i have been wanting to get the lawless forget the filler uh, gloss for the longest time. So when the Sephora sale came around, I was like, this is the perfect time to try it. I had like four different colors in the queue and I ended up going with nudie. It's like this really nice nudie color. So look at how pretty that is. And it really is just like line smoothing. It just makes your lips look so glass smooth and then i just loved it so much that i just wanted all the colors <laughs> so that this one i just i think like everyone will love it and i feel like the color nudie is probably a very universal um color and then the other day i was on instagram and i shared lip products or i was doing my lips and so many of you guys asked me for my lip combo I'm gonna go back and show you because I really loved it myself too. All right, so here it is. And then next up, my lip products, which I've really been loving this lip combination that I've been doing, so. Anyway, instead of me like showing you guys that, I'm just gonna show you guys that exact lip combo because I also have been really loving it. Okay, so. Huda Beauty Honey Beige Liner. I feel like this is a really good neutral liner. So I line my lips with that. And then I take the Anastasia Hush Pink Lipstick. Where is it? I can't, I can't even find it right now. Oh, there it is. This, and I just kind of dab it. You can see it's very pink. I just kind of dab it in the middle. And on the top just like that and then if I really want to go like icy and cool toned I have this one by Patrick Ta it's say less I just really love Patrick Ta products I'll just kind of do that it's super pretty you can add as much as you want but I also got two cc's and I really really like two cc's as well 
Um, but yeah, you guys went crazy over this lip combo on stories. And I also got the Pillow Talk, the new Pillow Talk Big Plump Gasm Plumping Lip Gloss in the actual color Pillow Talk. And I also, also really love this if you're looking for a more like pinky peachy nude plumping lip gloss color. This is the color that I used when I did my Q&A for um, Kiora. I want to just quickly show you. All right. Hello. So as promised, I'm going to do like a little Q&A about my new brand, my new clothing line, Kiora, which I announced. I don't know if you guys could see but I'll link everything but yes those are like all the lip products I've been loving and then I wanted to share I've been using white it's not actually white it's this color I don't know what kind of like it's like a nude I guess a nude color so this is by the brand Swede Beauty I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it I heard a lot about their like lash serum but I'm kind of like doing away with lash serums and so i wanted to try this this is color bright it's a satin coal eyeliner and i've been putting this on my waterline and it's just i love the effect it's like the alex earl effect you know how she always uses white but i don't want really too white so i really love that this is just like a bright color like a bright peachy nude pinky nude color and I just like how it makes me look awake. Loving this one. All right, I wanted to highlight a foundation. You guys know that I've been very into my, what's it called? Gosh, I can't like find words lately. Um, I've been very into my skin tints and lately I feel like I've been needing a little something heavier when it comes to my face, so my foundation especially, but I didn't want anything that felt too heavy i just was doing a lot of filming for like kiora and things like that and i just kind of wanted to look a little more i guess i wanted a more perfect perfected look i feel like you can really get like a more defined look with foundation right because when you're just using a skin tint you're just kind of going for that everyday like glowy um, no makeup look but when you're like filming for big things like a brand launch you kind of need that like extra oomph and I have just been loving this foundation so freaking much and I feel like this is my perfect color it's the color Barcelona um it's the like reflecting foundation and all I need is two pumps and I barely even finished that and this is just what I've been using on my face and I feel like it just makes my face look like flawless and not caked up and I don't know it actually kind of made me fall in love with foundation again and i have heard other people talk and rave about the foundation i've gotten some people on instagram stories to buy it and they've come back to me on dms telling me how much they like loved the foundation so i'm very very happy with that and then i've been really into silver lately i don't know what happened i don't know what got into me or what yeah but i've been really into silver and i just i have these little mango earrings that I have been loving wearing with everything and I even used it on a lot of photos for when we shot Kiora and I just felt like it looks so good and it's just these it's just these little mango ball earrings in silver and I just love the size of them they're not too big they're not too small but I don't know just been loving these lately i brought them with me to miami shot with them at cura i've been wanting to wear it with everything they will even go with like casual clothing and i don't know i just love them they're not like the best best quality but if you just want to try something like this it's good to try something that's not as expensive and if you can find something that you want that's more maybe pricey that's maybe better quality than you can find one i just haven't really found a silver version like this that's not this and then I have this necklace back on. It is by Set in Stones. Every time I wear this necklace, oh my goodness, the amount of questions I get about it is crazy. But Mother's Day is coming up. I feel like this would be a Mother's Day, a good Mother's Day gift for yourself or for your mom. Um, I obviously have Presley on there, and you can put anything on it that you want. You can put your own name. They have one that's already set as Mama, but you can also just 
customize it to whatever you want. And then I have a discount code that gives you 10% off. So I think it's Naomi Boyer 10 or Naomi B10, but I will put that exact discount code for you to get a discount on this set in stones necklace. Or I think it's just like anything you want to buy from the site. So yes, I've been loving this. It's just like nice and dainty. Okay, lastly, I want to end with skincare. I don't have too many skincare like wows. I do love these typology serums. I've shared them on my stories. I did a campaign with them and I feel like I've just fallen more and more in love with them. They are really good serums. When it comes to serums, I will splurge and I will spend money. I feel like that's where everyone should splurge and spend money because they're the they're the skincare items that actually really sink in that have like the stronger ingredients and things like that. So I'll leave that info for typology on there as well. But this spray, this is the SOS spray. I know I mentioned on here how much I've been kind of like dealing with so many skin issues. They have sent me this numerous times. I have this version. I have the travel size version. I have so many travel size versions. One day I just saw it and I was like, I never really gave it two glances. And then I just saw that it said save our skin and I was going through it with my skin and I started reading the ingredients and like, I just decided to start using it. And I didn't even know that this went viral. Apparently this is viral, but I also saw my dermatologist make a video on Instagram talking about why she thinks this is viral is because there's an ingredient on here called hydrochloric acid, I believe. And this is what a lot of dermatologists use to clean your face. Whenever they, they do anything, it's just an ingredient that is kind of like an antibacterial. So it's really great for acne prone skin. I, any bacteria that, you know, maybe on your face, this is kind of like really good. Um, so I just spray this like morning and night before any skincare, let it sit. I think you do have to wait at least 20, 30 minutes if you're gonna use any actives after you spray this on. But you guys already know that I always use some kind of a toner, some kind of a spray before any products because if you are using any skincare products, your face should be damp. Um, I'll give you the visual that I learned from someone else. I don't remember who, but basically it's your face is like a sponge. If you're putting soap on a dry sponge, it's not going to absorb the soap. But when you like, for, you know, like when you're washing dishes, but if you're going to wash dishes and your sponge is wet and you put the soap on it, that's when it'll absorb the soap. Same with your face. If your face is dry and you just put product directly on it, it will absorb to some degree, but it's not gonna absorb as good as if your face, as if it would if your face was damp. Hope that makes sense. I feel like I just did the worst job explaining it. But anyway, I always use some kind of spray toner essence on my face before using any product so this is what i've been using i've also been using the one from pharmacy it's a toner and that's it for my like beauty and some favorites all right guys that is gonna complete this video i hope you enjoyed the favorites portion and the quince clothing portion as always everything will be linked in the description box below i really want to keep this favorites video going so uh yeah it's gonna be may by the time that this goes live so maybe by june or end of may i'll just talk to you about the things that i'm loving again thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>